evening, friends and neighbors. Or shall I say this afternoon? Welcome back to the Steelers franchise on Madden 22. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, it's funny that the Offensive Player of the Week came for the Browns against the team with the Defensive Player of the Week. So Chubb obviously deserved it with the outing that he had against us. But then TJ Watt, three sacks, two forced fumbles, and a recovery in that effort against the Browns where we came up with a win mostly because our team was coming up with turnovers whenever they were trying to throw the football. Even though our focus going in was to try and stop the run, that didn't work. Um, but we got the job done in – you know, that's all that matters. So so regional scouting focuses we've got to try and zone in on here. Now, we, we don't get the national one yet. But in the West, strengths are wide receiver, quarterback, and left tackle. Now, his strength is actually wide outs. So this works out perfectly. So hopefully he's going to scout us some wide receivers that end up being draftable now this guy is good at right guards but that's the weakness in the central you know region so i'm gonna have him look at left defensive actually let's have him look it says right outside linebacker is a strength um although that left end that's projected to go 24th might be somebody that we might be able to get our hands on um, I th although I don't really need a left defensive end anytime soon. So he's going to look at that right outside linebacker position. It's not a super high likelihood that it's a guy that we can end up drafting because he's projected to go 10th. But maybe there's somebody else at that position that we get a chance to get. And um, anyway, we'll see how that turns out. So here... Weakness, middle linebacker, and that's what he's best at. Strengths are corner, D-tackle, and right tackle. I'm going to look at that right tackle. He's projected to go 26th. I wouldn't mind having somebody to take over for Dan Moore somewhere down the road. Because Dan Moore doesn't pass block very well, and we want to be a pass-heavy option here. So... Another spot where right outside linebacker shows up on the strength. There's apparently a bunch of corners in this draft class. Um, we'll have this guy also look at right outside linebacker. Actually, you know what? Why don't you look at... Um, no, we're, we're better at wide receiver, plus... We already have some of those being looked at. I feel like we could use some upgrades at outside linebacker because uh, Joe Schobert's getting old. We've just got some issues there. So, boom, 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 and we're good to go. That's that. Uh, we play the Cowboys this week. So, another tough game for us. Right out of the gates, two really good teams and two really good offenses. And, boy... If Chubb ran for 200-plus yards against us, I'm not really looking forward to what Zeke can do against us. So, we have got to emphasize stopping the run. So, we're going to change this and defend the outside run. Like, holy moly, get it done, guys. Now we need to come in here and go half pads. Thankfully, we're not fatigued yet, because <coughs> that could have been bad. I would have let that go on too long. Blitz counter? No. Um, actually, yeah, we'll do that. We're still going to run very good short routes. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to change it to short. We're going to change it to throw it short so that his accuracy is increased. So the thing that we lose there is the throw under pressure, essentially. But I'm okay giving that up to have him be more accurate when he's not under pressure. So 
there's that. And now I think we don't need to change much here as far as the focus players, but do that, do that. Let's go get a bunch more sacks, boys. That was an absolutely incredible show of force. Their offensive line, as good as they were at run blocking, you know, some of that was Chubb. Chubb is just really good at getting to the edge, period. Even in real life, like, that's what they do well, usually, with him. But they could not pass block to save their lives. It was bad. So, poor Baker Mayfield was getting his brains beat in, trying to find guys open. Uh, Jacoby Stevens. He's pretty good at pass coverage already. But being an outside linebacker, let's actually, yeah, let's try and get him a little bit more balanced here. Was he a rookie that we drafted? No. Where did we get him? We must have picked him up in free agency, I suppose. Got a right end. I need you to be better at pass rushing, but not a huge deal. Garrison Farr. Uh, I'm going to just try and emphasize his slot ability. He'll be pretty one-dimensional in that regard, but that's okay. Like, as far down as he is on the depth chart, I just want him to get good enough at something that we can use him in the relatively near future. Zach Monroe getting another upgrade. Heck yeah. We got a bunch of upgrades. Jeez. All right, so we're going pass protection with our O-line for a little while because we want to get to where we're rock solid uh, protecting Grant Crawford. Wow, this is the most upgrades I've had in a long time. And how about Oscar Beal already up to a 75? Now, with his speed... I just don't know what to expect, because I think he was like 84 for his speed. The hidden dev trait gives him a chance to be really good anyway. But the speed does concern me a little bit. Uh, I'm going to just keep emphasizing elusiveness for Anthony McFarland. He's actually not that bad as a third option out of the backfield. Jason McDonald, get better at pass coverage, my dude. So, I think he's going to end up being a pretty decent player for us. Buddy Johnson's coming along a little bit more. And then I saw Chase Claypool get another one. And we're going to go with physical for him. I think that's his strength. We're going to stick with it. I want him to be able to go win a jump ball. So, all right. We got the Cowboys. We get them at home. And then we get the Chiefs at home. Jeez, that is a freaking gauntlet to start the season. <sighs> All right, I think we are... Who got signed? Walter Clifford? I don't even know who that is. So, let's get out and take on the Cowboys. So we'll jump in here in just a second. All right, so we're here at Pittsburgh. Now, before we get into the game, I should point out... I think I forgot to put our offense... Uh, down to half pads for practice. So I hope fatigue doesn't become an issue, but it's probably not in this game. But we need to fix that because that can become an issue pretty quickly. Guys just getting worn out. We don't want to see that. All right, so we're going to go with something simple here. X follow. We're just looking for Ebron coming underneath here. We're probably throwing it to him no matter what. It's just a matter of when. That is not what we want to see. Complete for no game. Uh, how about... Blank or dig? Let's flip this and now bring Johnson on the slant instead of Washington. Uh, that's not going to be there, and he's stuck in a freaking animation. I'm trying to run that whole time. As soon as I saw the middle linebacker stay in the middle of the field, I tried to run with that. 
he, he just wouldn't do it. That was so bad. And now third and long. Uh, let's just go with like a first drag off. This is just going to be terrible. Going backwards. Right at the start of the ball game. We just get nothing going. Three and out. That was just like such garbage. I'm sitting there trying to scramble up through the pocket because I could already see that I didn't have what I wanted down the field. And it wouldn't let him run. So it says the wind is blowing like a little bit with me and to the right, but I think it's actually blowing to the left and maybe in my face just a hair. Two guys can't make the tackle. Awesome. Great start, guys. <laughs> Oh, don't make this be another frustrating game. Like, if I lose, it's fine. But don't make it just, like, nothing is ever seeming to be, like, open in the passing game. Everything I play, every play that I call, it just seems like they've got the perfect defense lined up to try and stop it. Like, I don't need that crap in my life. That's pretty much what happened last week. Get him. Nice play. I was coming up the middle. He kicked it outside, and I thought we were in trouble. Let's go with the zone blitz here. Trying to do some quick incompletion, maybe. Are they going to run it again, though? Uh, okay, they didn't get much. So now we've got a third down and six. They're going to the three wide. We're going to try and get off the field right here with a three-man rush. Kind of disguise it maybe a little bit. I'm bringing him up here. I don't think they're going to run it. Yep. Ah! The freaking... Who is that? Is that a fullback or a tight end? Wide open. Right in the middle of the field, man. Dang it. Uh, let's go with corner blitz of some sort. Uh, overload blitz. Come on. Way too easy, guys. Oh, my goodness. All right, they're coming out. Two tight ends. We're expecting a run. We're going to try and blitz. Why are they all over here? Oh, get him. No. Oh, my gosh. He's all over him. He still makes the catch. He almost got away from him. Dang it. Uh, first and goal. About cover one. And press. I don't like this at all. Okay. Second and goal from five. They're in a goal line? I don't think they're going to run it. I'm going to do that right there. Oh, come on. Get a hand in his face. Come on. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, man. Thought he had it. All right. Same approach here that we did on third down last time, except I'm going to go cover two. Uh, let's slide them over here. Get him. He's out. He's out. There we go. Big stop. Now, let's get the offense going. Maybe we need to just try and stay a little bit balanced early on. Oh, they faked it. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> wasn't even looking. And my guy makes the tackle. That is huge. All right. Let's run the ball here. Oh, that, that's Parsons on the edge. That dude is a beast. Oh, come on, guys! Four-yard loss? Like, did anybody even try to block him? Jeez. 
And again, like, here's the, the play that I call, and it's just not going to be there. Why did Ebon just stop? He, like, stopped his route. Third and long. Um, this is dangerous because if they, if I don't have that route over the middle, I pretty much just need to throw it out to Benny Snell. Get the first down. Ooh, that's going to be really close. We are going for it. Uh, we are 100% going for it right here. Bring Fryermuth in motion. They're spread out. I think I can just run it right up the middle and get this first down. Yep. That is... That was risky. But hey, they went for it on a fake field goal try and gave me a chance. And we're taking advantage. We're going to take a chance ourselves. And ours paid off where theirs didn't. Come on, Crawford! Wide open! Oh. How about inside zone? Like, I just, I don't like any of the looks they're giving us. We're going to go to the scissors. Benny Snell has to stay in and block. And he can't hang on. He made a good throw. He just doesn't make the catch. Uh, try this stick route. Okay. Claypool might have one-on-one -on -one out there. He does. I don't know if I have enough on this throw because I waited. That's all right. Oh, we are so bad offensively right now. Jeez. We're not running the ball well. We're not getting open. And when we are, Crawford all of a sudden can't throw a football. Ebron had a chance to make a catch. He dropped it. Crawford has Juju, or, uh, Deontay Johnson wide open and misses him. Like, that's just... That's the kind of stuff that you can't afford. At least we got a little bit of breathing room and then flipped the field. Oh my gosh. Come on. Uh, how about... Okay, they're coming out two tight ends. And this is where I'm going to try and start doing a lot of blitzing. I'm responsible for Zeke on this play. In pass coverage, that is. Oh, God, somebody get to the quarterback. Last week, we would have already been running that one back on a fumble recovery. All right, let's show Blitz here and see if we can confuse him a little bit. Now, slant inside off the snap. Don't let him run it up the middle. Okay. Get him! Dang it! Okay, third and one. No, a nickel blitz. We gotta press. I've got a lot of responsibility here if they no crap. Oh, come on, tackle him! Dang it! Not going well right now. It's looking like there might be no score at the end of the first quarter. Which, with these two offenses, is kind of a Again, where nobody is making the initial tackle, ever. And if I guess, like, up the middle with the run, they, can, they are going outside, period. McDonald, you need to come in here. Oh, get him. Okay, it goes down as a no gain, not a sack. 
All right, I think this is going to be a run. I'm going to bring the nickel blitz because I want him coming off the corner. I'm going to pinch the D line in. Okay. Get him. There we go. Zach Monroe, baby. That is big. Now, third and long. I'm going to go man coverage and three deep. Slide these guys over. Ball start. So it just went from a 46 yarder to a 51 yarder. So let's go cover three zone now. Slide these guys over here. Come on, somebody make a play. All right, so they got back to the about the original line of scrimmage. But they'll try a field goal here in the waning seconds of the first quarter. So, 3 nothing at the end of the first quarter is not that bad. Especially considering our offense was just pretty paltry. Like, and you can't say that our our struggles so far have been because we don't have Najee Harris. Like that is not our problem right now. We're not getting anybody open. Teams are basically just like so far everything that I've been calling, it's like they know what we're about to try and they've got a defense that's just perfectly set up to stop it. And then when they don't, Grant Crawford makes a bad throw. Like There's Claypool. I've got to figure out ways to get, like, Johnson and Smith Schuster. Like, they have not been coming up trying to stuff the run with eight men in the box like this. I haven't been seeing this look. Now they're showing it to me, but they haven't been blitzing to give me that one-on-one -on -one coverage out there. That's the first time we've seen that in a while. And that was a, like, bread-and-butter play for us last year for a while. We use that one a lot. All right, let's go. We're going to play action here. I need to be able to roll to the right here, so we're sliding the protection that way. Hold your block out there. I got to just run it. I wanted to hit Johnson coming across, but he was pretty well covered in man coverage. Uh, now we're going to go tray offset, halfback screen. And it's not there, but this deep strike might be to Claypool. Let's see what Diggs does. He came down underneath. Make the catch. Dang it. I'm okay taking that shot. All right, we're going to just run the ball here. We're way deep for a field goal but I think the wind is helping us. And that helps us right there, because now we're close enough to where I feel okay um, trying to run the ball here. We're gonna run the other way. Come on. Actually, you know what? Now what we're gonna do is go right up the gut right there. We should have done this in the first place, but just the other direction. All right. Big first down. Let's go I formation, and let's look for this Texas route. Uh, and then let's send Claypool on a go. He's got him. He's got him. Ba uh, yes, pass interference. Put it at the one. Heck yeah. Now it's going to be the Jamal Williams show. We are going to go goal line. Halfback sting. Running behind Dotson. 
and Okorafor on the left-hand side here. Oh, guys. Another game where it's like, I, I don't really know how we're winning. Because it seems like everything that we've done has been a huge struggle. But we're getting it done. Defense stepped up a couple of times. You know, it's uh, it had been pretty. That penalty was big. All right, let's kick it high. Now let's just kick it deep into the right. I want to get a feel for what the wind is really doing here. This should be toward the back of the end zone. Yeah. So I think it's a little bit with me going this direction, but not too much. All right. Uh, we got to be conscious of the pass. Uh, oh, come on, Sh Schobert. You got to pick that, dude. He was a little bit slow getting over there. I could see that pass coming. Get him. All right, short game. Uh, come out in a three wide. Nope. But we're gonna we're gonna do a zone blitz here. Try and confuse him a little bit, maybe. Uh, get him. All right, that's going to come back, too. I think Edmonds missed the initial tackle. Holding, so it'll be second and 17 here. That's big. Uh, all right. So they're still coming out too wide. I'm going to go wide and then cover three, cloud show two. If they want to run it for four or five yards here, I'll let them, but they're going to have to do it up the middle. I don't want them getting to the edge. Oh, dang it. He threw that right into my chest. I just couldn't hang on to it. Quincy Shields was shaking up there. We're going to go dime, and we're going to go with a man coverage here on third and long. Watch for a screen. It's not a screen. Ugh. Oh. He dropped it. I would have had to have made the initial tackle. Shields is out for the game with a broken thumb. That stinks. He's our best defensive tackle. They've been throwing it more than I would have expected them to try and do so. You consider what Nick Chubb did to us last week. Like, why are they not out here just running it every single play? I mean, Zeke has been doing pretty well for them, too. But when they did run it, he was putting up yards. So I don't I don't get it. All right, we're looking for Juju. And he's going to be there. Nice throw. Break a tackle. All right, first down. How about gun and flanker drive? Uh, hang on. I gotta take a call. Alexa, stop. All right. So we've got first and ten. I believe I've already got a play called, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, we've got Claypool dragging underneath. He's gonna be open. That play has been there a couple of times now, but it's mostly been when we're running it from right to left for whatever reason. So let's look for this one and see if Juju is open, basically running the same route. Now, I'm going to send Johnson on the go instead of the deep out. And he's going to be open, or at least he's going to have one-on-one, -on -one, but that's overthrown. That's OK. I'm all right taking a shot. We're at the point in the game where, like, not having a lot of success doing much of anything. So let's at least maybe take some shots at big plays and see if we can hit it big, you know? Nice cut. Good run. Okay. 
Ebron is shaken up. So we've got a third and five here. I want something where I can get out of the pocket. Ooh, man, I don't know about this. They're so spread out. I'm going to try and run it left. This might even be four down territory if I can get close to this first down. Nice, go, go. There we go, baby. I would have been nervous about trying to roll out. What is this? All right, hang on. All right, sorry. Got a text there that I had to deal with. All right. Let's go right here. Z spot. See, I don't like this defensive front again. I'm going to go with a dive play. Just run it up the middle. Try and get a few yards. Good run. There's a flag, though, and that's probably holding. Dang it. That puts me back on the long side of field goal range again. Uh, probably can stay in the game there. First and 14. Let's go inside zone. I think it might actually be there. Be some blocking here. Nope. Although, good job falling forward at least. Second down and 10. Let's go spacing. This looks like man coverage, dang it. Which I don't like. Uh, hang on to him. Nice. He was behind him. That's one of those where if he catches it, he's going to get tackled right away. But he gets some yardage out of it. Uh, all right, we're going to try flank or dive. And we're actually going to flip it because of the way their linebackers are offset. It's been working better going this direction anyway. He's open, and he drops. Dang it! I mean, he got hit, but you got to hang on to that. Just try and kind of start it right down the middle here. That should be good. And it's now a seven point advantage. Still a little bit sluggish offensively, but we're doing okay. The defense is obviously, I mean, they've, I've held the Cowboys to three points. They've got one of the best offenses in football. So, that says an awful lot. Now, they tried a fake and didn't get it, but that would have only been three points. So, come on, get to him, get to him. Pick it off! Schubert! Not only does he not try to make a play on the ball, he doesn't even hit him when he's up in the air. He could have just caught him before he hit the ground and thrown him out of bounds so that he didn't get his feet down. What does he do? Just stand there and watch him catch it. Unbelievable. They're going with an empty set here, so we're going to try and stop the pass, make the tackle. Good job, Cam Sutton. They'll contain him to just four uh, single back. We're going to blitz here. I'm going to get pressure on him, dang it. Oh, I was like, what happened? It was a false start. All right, so now it's second and 11, and they're likely to throw the ball here, so I want to be pass conscious. We're going to go double A gap, cover three, show two. Um... Come on. Oh, what a freaking play. And a bunch of guys underneath to kind of draw my attention that way. And then he runs that deep in. Shy of the safeties. Dang it. That's like that depth where as a safety, you're at the point where you kind of need to turn and start running. Because if it's a go route, they're going to just blow on by you. 
this will get you to Jonathan Coachman. This is bad. If they run it, we're in trouble. Nice. I bumped him off the line. Of Wait, what? No. I want to show you what just happened because I think that's garbage. Let's watch the replay here. <clears throat> so we're looking right out here. Now, I do, I'll give you, I bump him off the snap, but that's within five yards. Boom. Oh, uh, I, I guess they're getting me right there. I don't know about that, though. Do I even make contact at this point? That's, uh, I guess. I can see it, but I still don't like it. All right, we're blitzing. Two-minute warning. We're going to press Amari Cooper, which could be bad. Get a hand up. Come on, guys. Getting no pressure on him right now. That's a six-man rush, and nobody got anywhere close to getting to him. Uh... How about Dime Tampa 2? I'm like, I'm running out of ideas. Get him. Uh -oh. uh, how about Nickel? Can we try a blitz? All right. Let's press because they're all in kind of tight anyway. Get him. I think he's short. But now, third and short, they've got all kinds of options right here. We're going to go with a blitz. We're going to be aggressive here. We're not aligned right. Yeah, we just we weren't aligned right. They have the safety coming all the way across to try and cover him instead of just letting Bush cover him, and I didn't know where to go. Damn it. Well, still, we tied at the half more than likely. I can't remember. I think I get the ball first. Or did, I don't remember. Don't remember who got it first to start the ball game. But, actually, the more I think about it, I think I got the ball to start the game and went three and out, didn't I? So, we got to be careful here. What we can't do is let them score again. I had success running the ball out of this heavy formation, and they're giving me this outside run look. I need a block on Parsons there, and we didn't get it, of course. Good job fighting for a few yards. He just runs right past the guy that he's supposed to block. All right. Second down. You got eight guys in the box. They're spread way out. All right. This is here. Make a good throw. All time out. All right. Now we're close enough that I can try and make a, you know, legitimate effort to score here. Uh, we're going to go here. Hurts drag. I don't think it's there. What? Hoping maybe Juju is on this play. He's not. And then he misses Benny Snell. 9 for 17. 93 yards. He's just, he just hasn't been good. All right, now I'm looking for Johnson on that deep post, maybe. Wow, they're just dropping everyone back in coverage. So I wonder if I can't go like this. See, now I want to send everyone deep, and it's not going to be there. But can I just take off and run with it? get the first down he did wow 
All right, so now let's ooh, let's try a screen. I don't really know why I'm doing this. Frankly, this is probably a bad idea. Because <laughs> if it doesn't work, come on! <laughs> You're gonna tell me Deshaun Hand gets to me that fast? So now we just run one play with one second left and throw up a Hail Mary. Now, what I want to do is go like this, and I'm going to call the stick route, and then we're going to audible, and we're really looking for Claypool, but he's probably not going to be there. No, he's not. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Unbelievable! Not only does he make the catch, he stays on his feet and takes it in! That ball was underthrown. That was ridiculous. That is absolutely crushing for them. Hadn't been able to do anything offensively. And somehow we're up by a touchdown at the half. And I was right, they are getting the ball. Juju, that was some freaking magic right there, my man. What a turn of events. I thought it might get picked off because it was so underthrown. I mean, the arm strength is Crawford right now. I don't know if he's our long-term answer with that kind of throw. Like, holy crap, you can't throw it 60 yards. That wasn't, he couldn't throw that 50 yards right there. That was weird. Uh, get him. All right. I mean, Prescott has been efficient, and they've been running it well. How do they only have 10 points? Like, it's crazy. Um, let's watch the run to the left here. No. Get in. Ooh, that was weird. And that's Davis, our third straight D tackle, or our third on the depth chart at least. Okay, this is third and six. We are gonna go dime, and then cover two man, because this will be press coverage. No, I don't like Amari Cooper lined up on the slot guy. So we're gonna try a cover three instead. No, oh, dang it, I almost got there, and then I missed the freaking tackle. Oh, that was close. All right, now what? Uh, we're going to slant left here off the snap. Get to the edge. Like, I don't know why Bush is running right there, and he just falls down. Like... Why are we getting tripped so often? It seems like it happens way more frequently than it should. All right. One of these times I need to do this formation, but blitz in man coverage. Oh, that's a screen. There we go. Going backwards on second down. Now third and long. And we are going to go... Man coverage with safety help. Oh, wow. Hit him in the hands, but I think that was Witherspoon came in at the last second and jarred it loose. It was either Witherspoon or uh, Jackson, but I think it was Witherspoon. Good job by the veteran. All right. So we have been running it half decent. Let's try and stay somewhat committed to that. This stretch play has been there a couple of times. Although, I'm going to take a chance here and go play action. If he blitzes off the corner right there, we're in trouble. He didn't. 
Yvonne's open. Come back and no! Oh come on, somebody get him! Uh, they just had good coverage all around, and then, you know, he was open out of his break, but I think I was maybe a little late getting it out there, and by the time I threw it that way, the underneath route got kind of close enough where he dropped back and snatched it. That, uh, that was just, that one sucks. We're still just not efficient offensively. We're never finding a guy that we want. All right, we are going to go with a zone blitz here. We're going to press. Ooh, I like this. Come on. Get him. Come on. I can never get Bush, like, a free shot at the running back. He's just always getting chipped. It's driving me crazy. First and goal from the one. They're coming out. I'm going to be aggressive and blitz here. There we go. Is that O'Neal again or Davis again? Heck yeah. Getting it done off the bench, my man. Quincy Shields is out. He's stepping up. Second and goal. And we're going to go cover three. We're going to pinch. Or we're going we're to press and we're going to pinch the D line in. Come on! Damn it! The way our offense is playing right now, we cannot afford turnovers. We're going to lose. If we turn the ball over one more time, we will lose this game. Because we're not going to be able to score a lot of points. It's been kind of fluky that we've even been able to do it so far. We had the Hail Mary, and then the one drive was a long, sustained one where we had to convert several times. And I just don't think we're going to be able to do that enough to win. Let's try and run it to the right. Come on, guys. Again, why is nobody blocking him? Ugh. Let's bring Claypool across on the flanker drive. This play has actually been pretty successful so far a few times nice catch that's a really good throw too I had to time it right to take that linebacker out of the picture we call play action uh, I'm not sure that I like this but we're gonna give it a try I wanted to wait until they were as far away from him as possible. There we go. Let's just run it up the middle. Just a simple dive play here. Good hard running. All right, second down and four. Let's go gun and again with the flanker drive. I think it might be there here. Um, see what's going on over the middle. Same thing as last time. They're in a weird coverage scheme where it's like they've got all kinds of guys clogging up the middle of the field. And I don't have the confidence in Crawford to throw those deep out routes. Wow, second effort and a huge first down. All right, let's call something where we're thinking throw the ball to the outside of the field. How about slot outs, maybe? Uh, 
That was terrible. I, d I didn't mean to throw it. I thought I was going to get hit, and I was trying to hold R1 down to brace for impact, and I accidentally threw it. All right. We've got Claypool one-on-one -on -one outside. Run. Get that ball. God. So bad right now. Uh, I haven't tried this oh, come on. Ooh, slants might be here. If they blitz, and of course they don't. I got a block. Hold on to it. Yes! That's big. So we avoid the turnover on the fumble on the play before, and immediately get a big conversion like here I want to run it they're not giving me the look that I want though and then here that's the throw that I need to take advantage of they're covering the little short out there and it's opening that one up I'm gonna try that again to the other side and oh wait a minute now I think I've got Juju coming on that Oh no. Run. Get defeated. Oh, come on! He's wide open, man! See, like, they're giving me the exact same read again. I've got to try it. He's going to be there. Look at that catch by Juju! Oh my gosh, he's having a big day. Caught the Hail Mary, and then a one-handed grab, laying out. He was covered, the throw was just a little bit, if he leads him a little bit better there, it gives him a chance to like keep running away from the defender, because he had a step. But the throw was just a little bit late, I guess. Bottom line, touchdown, and a big one. But I think I have something there with that set. They keep going to that look where I'm thinking that that little stick, that uh, option route is going to be there, and then they just sit there and cover it. But I think what that's doing is opening up the one where the one in the middle of the trips is just kind of sitting out along the sideline or whatever. Come on. Dang it. Still, just not getting a lot of pressure on him. Uh, we're going to go nickel. And we're going to go buck slant show two. So we're basically doing a blitz, but all loaded up on that right side. And then... They run it left. Of course they run left. Wilson, I think he's like my number four D tackle. He's hurt. Gun tight doubles. So if they're in a tight gun formation, we're going to go with the zone here. And we're going to press. I kind of like this. Let's slide to the left here. Come get him. <laughs> Take it to the house. No. Oh. I think that was Monroe with the sack and the forced fumble. I'll tell you what. This defense is making big plays. And it's it's mostly in the pass rush. See, they keep coming with these formations that are kind of like loaded to the one side. He's open, turning it in. No, got close. Crawford's numbers are starting to look a little bit more respectable now. Bruce Sternum, he's out for the game. Uh, we're going to go goal line. And we're going to call Foster Moreau's number here. Now, I need you to come across, and I need... 
TJ Watt to stay in and block, I think. Dang it. I was under pressure. All right, just run it up the middle. Come on, baby. Nope. Oh! He came off the edge and nobody put a body on him, but how about Jamal Williams, another touchdown. That's big. Now we're up two touchdowns in a game that, again, has been super grindy. Like, just nothing's easy, but, you know, good teams don't make it easy for you. All right, we're going to kick this deep and left, right? Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be a touchback or not. Nope. Come get him. Okay. So, 16 seconds to go in the quarter. We're up two touchdowns. They're going to have to try and throw it. Go man coverage. Somebody get pressure. Nice tackle. I mean, they have run it well. They just haven't run it a lot. And I think that's costing them. Some of the big plays I've made on defense have been sacks. Actually, all of the big plays I've made on defense. All right, we're going double A gap. We're going to do a zone blitz here. Coming off the corner. I kind of like this. Screen. Oh. Oh. Goes down as an incomplete pass. Now I'm going to do a cover three zone blitz. Still coming off the corner. Good. The pressure, I think, got to him there because he threw that a little early and definitely off target. Now's our chance to milk the clock a little bit. Just get up field. Okay. Good field position. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and run the ball. Um, but ultimately, my objective with running it here, these first few plays, is to set up a deep ball on a play action. OK. Benny Snell is running hard today. I am extremely satisfied with what he has done on the ground. All right, see, now they're loading up the box. I think Claypool might be there here, but one, one way or another, someone's going to be open on the right side of the field. It's going to be Snell, but he's going to have to fight for some yards. He reached for it. There we go. I want to run it outside to the left, and now I think it might be there, but Parsons is going to cause some trouble over there. All right, good blocking. Good run. See, now this is the perfect scenario. Second and short, we're going to go play action. And I want the one where it's the scissor route. Oh, come on, one time. Yes! Great pass protection. That took a long time to develop. But that's what we needed. Big strike down the field. They were in man coverage. Took me a while to find what I was looking for because they had a safety helping kind of deep. But the pass protection was awesome. Now I can go back to the ground because a field goal here, we probably win. And we're well within field goal range. It's pretty much chip shot at this point. Come on, Jamal Williams. Get me this first down, dude. In fact, I got an idea. How about a fullback dive? 
and they got eight men in the box. I don't like this. Got it. All right, that's all we needed. Okay, let's go to chew clock mode, and we're just going to run it right up the chute here. Hold on to the football. Their defense, I think, is getting a little bit fatigued now. Let's go here. I'm going to put Jamal Williams. Actually, let's put McFarland in for a play. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to stick with running this to the right, I believe. All right. Third and two. I'm going to try something here, and it is going to be – we're going to call the inside zone, and I think we're going to go ahead and stick with it here. Reach it. There we go, baby. Wow. So this is two weeks in a row where I don't even feel like we played our best, but we're going to come away – with pretty comfortable wins. So, you know, you get me against a team like the Lions right now, and I feel like we could just explode with a, you know, a, a game where not only do we put up the points, but like the stat lines are impressive as well. Because right now, our stats aren't like just crazy impressive <laughs> offensively but defensively we're coming up with sacks and turnovers and it's making the difference we're getting set up with pretty decent field position I think we only have the one turnover today the interception good play I picked that one up there so I don't think that was going to go very far anyway all right now we're going to go nickel Wide, cover three, buzz two. All right, so I'm kind of covering the left hash here. Screen, get him. Holy crap. See, when they run the screen away from me in a zone, I usually just don't see it. I'm just not looking for it. Ooh, they could have had me off sides there. They didn't snap it. Nice play. They were running all kinds of crossing routes there. And eventually one of them broke free. Uh, how about cover one with a robber over the top? Sometimes you can get an interception with that if they're running like a immediate air screen. There we go. How about that? That goes down as a run. No. Why would that go down as a run for Zeke? I don't think it did. I think they just showed it that way, but it really wasn't. How about cover six? Somebody go get Dak Prescott here. Watch for another screen, though. Get him. Man, they've used him a lot in this game. I feel like he's got like eight receptions. Ten for 79 yards. Third and 17. I'm calling a zone blitz here. Well, Zach Monroe dropping back into coverage here. Screen! No, I missed him! They didn't get it though. So they got to go for it on fourth down. And I'll tell you what we're going to do now. Oh, no. Empty backfield. We're going dime. We're going to say blitz. But then we are going to audible into a zone. No, I don't want that zone, though. I want Tampa 2. Uh, dang it. It's a good throw. All right. That was some gamesmanship there, and they won that battle, but it's okay. Keep going with these zone blitzes. Even if they're picking up some yards, I feel like I'm at least making it 
kind of tough for them. Dang it, I could see that pass coming. I just had too far to go to get there. How about 11 catches for that dude? Uh, cover one. So Schobert's coming on a blitz. <coughs> Looks like he's kind of stunting, which is a little bit unusual. Screen. Nice tackle. And that's going to bring us to the two-minute warning. So they might add a garbage time touchdown here, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's go wide Tampa 2. All right, they're stacked over to the left, so I'm going to kind of cheat that way a little bit with my coverage assignment here. There we go. How is that an incomplete pass? I'm kidding me with that. Now I'm gonna go cover three sky. Same thing, trips to the left. So, kind of expecting something to come out of that direction. Cover four. Uh-oh. No! Oh, what a catch! Oh! Wait! What's the flag? Illegal touching. Yeah, he stepped out of bounds. Oh, that's a shame. We will accept that. Fourth down and five. And now, Alexa, stop. Sorry. Actually, how are we doing on uh, these things here? Three out of the four. Not bad. Against a team like this, you'll take just winning. But if you can win and, you know, accomplish most of your other goals in the process, that's... Wow. Who the heck was he throwing that to? That was ridiculous. I mean, I don't know. I want to look at the replay. Because there were like three Steelers closer to that ball than there were Cowboys by the time it was intercepted. Okay. So it's not Malone, is it? I mean, Malone's wide open. It's not Amari Cooper. Like, look where he's throwing this. There's nobody... Even in the direction, like maybe Black was supposed to break out. I don't know. He's doing a deep hitch, basically. That throw was awful. <laughs> oh, man, is he getting questions about that one after the game? Like, what did you see on this play here? Because there ain't no talking your way out of that one. Even if somebody ran the wrong route, that throw was still nowhere close to anybody that would have been going in that direction. You know what I mean? Like, that was just awful. I think Dak Prescott said he must have had money on, like, number of turnovers. And he's like, we're going to lose. So if I just throw an interception here, at least I'll make some money. But. All right. 38-17, your final. That's two straight wins. And now we're in the simulate mode. Um, so let's get back to the main screen here and see what we're dealing with. We play the Chiefs, so chances are it's going to be a tough win. So Crawford was okay. The interception. Um, what was the interception on? I don't remember. I don't remember if that was one where it was like my fault or his fault or what. Dak was like decent, but again, we got sacks that changed the texture of the game. Benny Snell was pretty good today.
Jamal Williams had a good day. Yeah, Zeke, nine carries, 52 yards, but they just gave up on it. Crawford fumbled again. Prescott fumbled twice. Malone, 11 catches, 89 yards. Like, we're still not getting a ton of completions down the field, but Juju was the exception. What a day he had. Heck yeah. Blocking. All right, so tackles. Bush had 10, three for a loss, two sacks for Davis, two for Monroe, one for O'Neal. So we ended up with five sacks. They had three. I don't remember the interception. Like I'm struggling to visualize when it happened. It was early in the second half, wasn't it? But, <clears throat> anyway, that's a good win for us. And we're out of the gates 2-0 and and did so against two really good teams. Now we get the Chiefs, another really good team. Although the Chiefs might be reaching the point where, like, Travis Kelsey is not as good as what he used to be. Um... I'm assuming Tyreek Hill is still a freaking monster, but I don't even know who's on their team anymore. Um, let's just keep going field general for Devin Bush. And then Dan Moore, you got to get better at pass protection. He's actually turning into a pretty good right tackle. So... Like, we're okay on the offensive line, but I like to have guys in the 80s on the O-line, and we don't have a lot of that going on. So, <clears throat> but we're still fairly young, at least. All right, so manage staff. I don't remember how many points I need for... Um, what upgrades are we working on? Uh, I don't really need to do those yet. I think there was, yeah, I think we're here. Catching for cornerbacks. Yes. Tackling for safeties. Yes. And then the last one on this page is going to cost me 18, and it, boosts pressed coverage and then we've got all of these so our coordinators will be maxed out when we get 18 staff points to spend then I think I'll go to the head coach page and then we'll finish up those bonuses on the player personnel side of things all right so let's uh who was the injury we'll look at that then we'll advance the week and then I think we'll wrap uh, so let's see here. Turner, Bugs, Jackson, and Shields now out for a little while. Now, Bugs, I think, is going to be coming back next week. So that'll help. <clears throat> so let's advance. We got the Chiefs. We get them at home. But it doesn't matter where you play the Chiefs. They're probably not going to be very easy to beat. Especially the way our defense has been kind of, you know, flirting with disaster, frankly. The sacks have saved them, but another good offense to deal with here. So we'll deal with this one in the next episode. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see you all next time. Friends and neighbors, or shall I say this afternoon?